<laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. Dude, I just had a dream that you guys... <laughs> More heat on mine today. Someone fucked with mine, man. I huh? think it's a conspiracy theory. Who fucked with my horn, bro? It's not a horn. It's I, a I, I'm buzzer. out of town. I'm out of town on the road for a little bit. I come back. <laughs> you got that low T, bro. You got that low testosterone in your horn. Dude, it was yeah. pow- it was powerful. And I felt, you know what? Hit it one like more time. It was- no, I think it heats up. Ah, it still didn't. <laughs> Damn, Very sad, man. You know what's not sad? Your what? birthday, bro. Thanks, Your dude. Your birthday, brother. Appreciate cheers, it, man. homie. Cheers, dude. Happy birthday, don't man. Cheers don't me, bro. fucking touch me. Don't cheers Even on your me. birthday, bro. Don't touch me on I your birthday. I will never touch you, and I wish they would put a little wall right me here. Me too. I've asked for it multiple times. I'm going to tell Trump to build that one, yep. you know? Good you... thing I can barely hear your little buzzer anymore. Oh. God damn it. It's my bro. birthday, man. You, uh, how you, you feel, I don't, I have no idea. If someone came up to me and was like, hey, you know Theo's 52 years old? I'm like, that's cool. Then if someone came up and was like, hey, you know Theo's 20 years old? I'm like, that's cool yeah. too. I have no idea. Oh, dude, well. You, you're like a black dude. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I have no idea. Dude, there's a black Asian baby I heard. You can't tell if it's like two months old or 70 years old. Yep, that's how they roll. That's the new thing. It's Asians like, too. Like, how old do you think Kat is? Oh, who knows? She's 14? She's 73. Or 1400s. Exactly. Kat could be from any time period, dude. 16th century dynasty chick. Does she have a samurai sword? I don't know. Definite dynasty. She has a long coat on. Mm, yep. I don't know. Kat gave me some nice donuts, though, today. Thank you, Kat. Dude, it inspired my outfit today because I want to look like a cupcake for your birthday. <laughs> really? Don't, birthday don't look suit. Like that. Birthday what? suit. I look and there's like a, a cupcake, picture. bro. And yesterday was your birthday. I don't know. <laughs> We put a picture of you up yesterday with those Care Bear tattoos on your back. Dude, that boy is super thick. Oh, that boy yeah. got, got gravy veins, right? Oh, yeah, that guy. And that's you, Brendan. That's you at uh, 11 years old. <laughs> Dude, he is so thick, bro. He is Bre- so thick. Brendan was raised in a tattoo yard. <laughs> so God, they were. Damn. Now he's way swollen than I am. A lot of free ink hit the airwaves. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. That boy doesn't miss a weight. He doesn't. Oh, that guy's lifted them all. He's lifted, <laughs> he's lifted all, all the weights. Yeah. Man, you could see his uh, his shoulders are jacked. From I have no idea how old he hopes is. Up. That dude is strong, <laughs> bro. His shoulders are jacked from trying to carry his dreams. And I don't that know how you, it's working out. But. And that everybody knows that you're alternate. Uh, that's your alternate email account. <laughs> He's better looking than I am, though. Well, I didn't He's definitely look... better looking. Really? I didn't look at him like that. Really? Yeah, dude. No. Yeah, really. 100%. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he definitely knows his way around the weight room. Yeah. He has a lot of wisdom to drop on people. He hikes a lot. Uh, does he? Yeah. Well, does he tell. just stay in the weight room and eat? No, he t- he stops somewhere to take that picture on the side of the road somewhere probably. Oh, that's PCH. a good point. That's a good point. So. He's he's a dime piece, man. But happy birthday, man. Too bad it's not your birthday. I know. My day late, bro. Well, day late, dude. Who knows when your birthday is? Dude, we're man. some Pisces babies, aren't we? We aren't any Pisces babies. <laughs> we aren't anything. Yeah, bro. bro. Come yeah. on, Pisces it up, bro. Pisces baby. Get out of here, dude. Don't fucking touch me, Pisces brother. Pisces brother. Pisces brother. Pisces brothers. Pisces, brother. Pisces, brothers, Pisces man. bros. No. You know, we are. Yeah, we some March babies. <laughs> no, Our parents not. humped in the same month, bro. <laughs> no, they did. Yeah. Pretty awesome, right? No, they did. Look at man. us, man. Two Pisces. Yeah, don't look at us and not. Should we get in some current events? Let's get into anything else, dude. All Brennan's right. definitely the kind of guy that when you say it's your birthday, he tells you when his birthday is. That's <laughs> definitely the truth. Well, mine, dude, my birthday was yesterday. Though. Yeah, yesterday's we over, bro. We have the same basic birthdays. Like, you know what time many? were you born? Huh? What time 10 were you born? 10.40 p.m. 10.40 p.m.? Yep. All right, I was born at midnight, so it's Are like really? right before midnight, so we could have been born on the same day. Who was born at fucking midnight, dude? I was, man, because I'm a gremlin. Are you Slytherin, bro? <laughs> Who was born at midnight? Your birthday's over, man. All all the past is the past, man. Do you like birthdays or you get sad on birthdays? Uh, I think it's kind of a 50-50. I don't really su- – the, these days you have to respond – respond, sorry. Respond, you're right. Yeah, I, uh, I took a fucking word out of your fucking Yeah, dictionary. welcome to CT. Yeah. Welcome to CT. Dude, Population – you and me. It's kind of nice, bro. It? It's kind of cool. You get away with a ton of shit. <laughs> yeah, man. yeah. You can be racist sometimes. Everyone's like, eh, you got punched in the face. Yeah. What else you got? Fuck, I don't know what we're talking about, man. Oh, your birthday. You get sad on it? I usually get sad on my birthdays. You do? Yeah, I don't know why. 
Um, my birthday was great. No one, listen, if fucking LA had a parade for my birthday, I'd still be sad at the end of the night. Yeah. I don't know why. Since well, I was a kid. It's not like your no, birthday right feel, now. But, but it is, though, you know? But it <laughs> is. is. It though, yeah, birthday month, bro. Pisces, brother. No, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, dude. Pisces, brothers, dude. Whoa, bro. I think that pink but, sweater has something, it has a little bit of leftover whoever you borrowed it from in it, dude. You're acting a little tender over there, buddy. I'm acting like a Pisces, bro. No, you're not, When you were a dude. kid, you have good birthdays? Oh, yeah, dude. Did your mom I got, toss you a cactus for your birthday? I got bit by a dog. I got bit by dogs on one birthday and cats on another birthday. I got attacked by two cats. Hmm. So it's a good time. Well, it's just different times. There's more stray animals back then, and things were different. The candles really got them all excited if they had a lot of animals in your area. But I remember this, dude. These days, you have to reply to so many texts and stuff like that. It's a lot of like electronic work on your birthday, I feel like, you know? I feel like real friends. I mean, unless you're a real, real close friend, you can text happy birthday. I knew we were going to see each other. You say happy birthday. Um, but in general, I'm good, man. You don't need to really text me, especially on Christmas. Don't text me on Christmas. Yeah. Or my favorite. Thanksgiving, fuck off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, be cool, man. And then don't get mad if I don't text you back. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Somebody oh, send you that. What do you mean? Happy Thanksgiving? <laughs> you have no one else to text? <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah. Dude, happy 4th of July. Get the fuck out my yeah, face. Yeah, watch, go watch the Lions God, lose, get dude. a it's friend, bro. fucking giving. Get a friend. Yeah, bro. Let's go. All right, first one. Nick looks like the saddest kid at a birthday party right now. <laughs> wow, Nick does look like that. He looks like super sad. He's That's dressed a... like Where's Waldo. <laughs> That's a great call. He's dressed dude. like Where's Waldo and got picked last on the dodgeball team. <laughs> wow, bro. <laughs> I got way more stripes than Waldo on right Dick now. Gang, bro. Gang, gang, sad Waldo. Nick is the only person that wore the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be festive. It's not my you. birthday, bro. He's doing good, huh? Yeah, not I my birthday. I know it's not your it's birthday. It's not my birthday, but it is birthday month for Pisces. <laughs> no, it isn't, dude. Get yeah, away from me. Don't touch me, Pisces brothers. Don't fucking touch part Pisces of me. Pisces brothers, dude. We're like two fish. No, we're not. That's why I'm we a get along shark, so dude. Well, bro. Two fish, bro. I'm a shark, and you're it's, a sick salmon. Nope, it's like we we're connected at the head at one point. <laughs> no, we yeah, were, you know those bro. two kids that are always connected? We're like that. Yeah, those aren't fish, we're separated, man. But you were old. Yeah. I was like two and you were 17. Yeah. All right, what else you got, Nick? <laughs> First one, reality TV star and mother of Honey Boo Boo, Mama June, mm. was addressed on drug charges in Alabama. I love her. She was picked up in like a her. Alabama gas station and police found crack cocaine, a needle, and a pipe in her car. Yeah, I want some money on this bet. But some of the cars in Alabama, if you get a used car in Alabama, there's definitely drug paraphernalia in it. You can't... Yeah. You know, it's like there's a tire iron, and then like, oh, what's that little tire iron with crack in it? Oh, why is there a dead body in the back? And she just comes with Chevys. Yeah, Yeah. so it's there's a lot of it. Depends on what you get down there, you know. So I don't want to judge her yet. Was it was a Chrysler Sebring? Because those we know have issues. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, those always always have have drug paraphernalia. You have the top down. There's drugs in there. Also, did she put all the weight back on? Because remember, it went from she went from I think the show was from hot to not. She lost a shitload of weight, mm-hmm. you know, but there's nothing you can do about your face. But she lost a ton of weight, and then she st- was doing well, right? Uh, I I, didn't, I never followed her much, but the show was from not to hot, and she's went back to not. I know. That's how she stays skinny. I that saw her, yeah. Okay. She looked nice. She saw some, yeah, maybe she felt pressure to have to stay skinny. And sometimes at a certain point, it's like you'll do anything. It's crack like, could do that, though? Crack will help you fit into a fucking bathing suit. That's for sure, dude. If you're having trouble at the beach, Does bro, it give you the runs? Buy a couple rocks, dude. Yeah, it gives you everything. Damn, you know? I kind of want to try some. It I'm trying you, to shed a few, you know? Dude, it gives you everything. And I don't know if she lost the weight, but the kid picked it up. I don't know if you've seen Boo Boo oh, yeah, recently. You can, yeah, Boo Boo, you can trade the weight apparently yeah, yeah, in that apparently, family. Yeah. You can just be like, you know what? You carry the weight now. That's a new show called Weight Swap. <laughs> Honey Boo needs to pick is. up a goddamn book. You ever seen her on that show? Huh? Jesus Christ, yeah. oh, she, lady, she knows bro. about two of the vowels, bro. She definitely, nobody gave her all She knows five. more than two rivers, I'll give her that. Oh, yeah, I bet she does. But she's a beautiful little girl. You know, she quit pageanting. And oh, did she give that up? Yeah. That's a shame. She had a real future. I think she quit pageanting, and she's just kind of just being around the way, just kind of an around the way chick. I heard she has a boyfriend. The honey boo-boo? Yeah. The, the little one? Yeah. She's a boyfriend? Yeah, because she's like 13 now. Is she? How old is she? She's 13. They're what else we got? What huh? else we got? The first poster for the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood starring Brad Pitt and Leonardo Leonardo DiCaprio dropped this week. It's the movie that's going to follow an actor and his stuntman in 1969 Hollywood during the Charles Manson murders. And here's the poster. This movie gets my dick hard, bro. I love the Charles Manson stuff. I don't like that people are murdered. I like that old Hollywood stuff. The cult stuff. 
I've followed this Charles Mance stuff way too close. Have I driven through Topanga Canyon and look at some of the places where he's lived? Yeah, I have. Really? Have I driven past the murder sites? Maybe I have, okay? Wow. Yeah, I'm that Damn. into it, bro. So I'm into this shit. You're into that, huh? I think every now and then if somebody in the Hollywood Hills has to get murdered, so be it. Especially dude. for our you know? entertainment. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm from, you know? Like, you take that chance. You know, if you're going to be real fancy, sometimes you got to catch a slug, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I have no problems with it. That Charles Manson story is amazing. I just don't know why are there so many uh, people in this movie. That's what seems bizarre to me. There's so many famous it's like actors a Tyler and actresses. Perry movie. Well, that always feels so forced. They did that. Um, I don't know if it was American Gangster. What was the one that won all those awards one year? But it was just garbage. But it had oh, Jennifer had so many Lewis people. in it. Or yeah, whatever. I know what you're talking about Jennifer. Jennifer uh... That people everybody liked and then everybody didn't. What was that girl's oh, name? Fuck, from she's Silver Linings Playbook. Yeah, she's yeah. hot. But what? <laughs> American, yeah, Hustle. American Hustle, like, Bradley was Cooper, about? Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, had so many people. Yeah, it was like, dude. how much shit can we put in God. here to seem purposeful? Michael Jackson, yeah. it's just whatever, dude. Dude, it had uh, Harriet Tubman in the beginning. God. Like, what the fuck? Get, what is going on? Dude, it had uh, the Wright brothers in the, uh, you know, played airline pilots in it. So oh, Luke Perry's in this here. Charles Manson movie, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's wow. his, his, final, uh, his final role. Quentin Tarantino directed. So Manson ain't done yet, dude. Manson said he would get one more. I guess it was Luke Perry, dude. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Somehow. <sighs> Look, I'll tell you this. If he wasn't in the movie, he might still be alive. Conspiracy theory, dude. He might be on the side. Call Eddie Bravo, bro. Call him up. Yeah. He'll confirm. He got too into his role like Heath Ledger. Yeah. End up dead. There you go. Oh, wow. Well. You got to stay on the cusp place. of your role, dude. You can't you gotta... get too deep, you know? <sighs> like, you don't want to fuck with the mans and stuff. Stay on dude. the cusp of your role. Don't be a breadstick, baby. What else we got there? You mentioned Slytherin earlier. Uh, Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling said in an interview recently that Albus Dumbledore and fellow fictional character from the world of Harry Potter, Gellert Grindelwald, had an intense sexual relationship that was not written about. How is this news? How the fuck is this news? I'm not into Harry Potter. But I Listen, I respect what she's done. Went from nothing to a jugillionaire. Great. Good for you. Kids and Twix and whatever the fuck they do. Magic, right? But yeah. also, I assume they're fucking. Like... Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy, they fucking. We yeah. know this, man. Gonzo sucking off Bert and Ernie. We know this. You think that? The big news was no, Gellert. This. Gellert was a. Um, it was a male male relationship that oh, was not spoken yeah. about. So people. Bert were and in... Ernie. Bert and Ernie are gay as shit. <laughs> yeah, Bert and Ernie been gay. J.K. So come up with something new. You yeah, know? be original, J.K. Yeah. Simmons. Here's my thing. J.K. Rowling's always start trying to raise hell. I think, and she seems to be pub, uh, obsessed with publicity. Every week, she's saying, you know. You know, Larry Griswold was a fucking serpent, or somebody, mm -hmm. you know, had fucking, you know, um, Mr. McGardicardi had fucking fish living in his eyes, or whatever. It's always some kind of shit, or you she know, trying uh, to make headlines. Yeah, or you already got a name? ride at fucking Universal. Fuck, man. Yeah, That's pipe all. down. Yeah. And look, if it wasn't written about, then it didn't fucking happen. That's just you thinking about shit, you nutcase. Okay. Shout out to Burton Ernie. Yeah, it was unwritten. Well, then it ain't shit. Because you know you're the writer. Yeah, fucking you're write the, it What do you down. mean it was unwritten? You're the writer. <laughs> Draw this a, ain't news, bitch. Draw a sketch, JK. Yeah, put a finger paint on, bitch. Yeah, dude. And also, here's the thing. So aggressive. JK Rowling, if you're going to do some sexual stuff, do it with Hermione Granger, boy. You know what I'm saying? I'd put it in dude, Hermione, bro. Don't touch me. I'd Damn. put it in Hermione, son. Yes, sir. But all this other shit, so-and-so was gay. Who ain't gay? Y'all out there fucking doing spells and wizards. Everybody's fucking gay. In the magic world, everybody's sucking dick. Yeah, y'all drove a shopping cart into an embankment and woke up in fucking Narnia, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's the dark arts, as Dude, you call it, bro. everybody's coming, bro. That's come country. Yeah, you don't do magic without... Come. Yeah, I mean, why else would you do magic, bro? You think I'm like David Blaine? Yeah, it comes nonstop, dude. You think I'm gonna turn a snake into a fucking uh, Quidditch stick and not fucking jerk off once? You're out of your mind. God, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. You think I'm gonna ride a magic carpet and not bust nuts on the way? <laughs> Come on, bro. Dude, everybody's gay in there. I'm surprised. There's like a 40% chance of seed in the air every Shit, day. And I want in. What else we got? Jesus. All right, last current event, because I know Theo's uh, trying to get into some gaming. Uh, in an ESPN article detailing the strife in the Philadelphia Phillies locker room last season, uh, it was revealed that Carlos Santana smashed a TV in the clubhouse with a baseball bat because teammates were playing Fortnite during games. Well, what the fuck is he doing there? Was he touring? 
<laughs> the the baseball player, not the uh, oh my the legendary was the guitar. Yeah, I saw Santana in Tucson once. Bro. How was he out there by the fairgrounds? He was okay. You want to talk about someone who overcame Down syndrome, just keeps doing it, man? That guy, all he plays the guitar, dun, no dun, singing, dun, dun, nothing. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, him and Los Lobos. They're always performing. They're performing in every city every night somewhere. I would not right go to his interstate. concert. There's no singing. Yeah, we're good, man. It's just him on the guitar. Yeah. Good for him, man. Oye, como va? That's him, I think, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. He probably <laughs> fucking went crazy because he was at a baseball uh -huh. game, bro. You showed up at the wrong stadium to perform, dude. <laughs> yeah, no one's paying attention. Playing the video games, <laughs> he started breaking shit. Yeah. <laughs> Time to pay the bills. Dude, I'm burning up, man. Are you? Yeah, what, dude. Do you have a fever? No, I mean it's hot sting out. Sting that. Sting a fever for sure, but also sting wearing sweatshirts. Get a shirt, bro. Everyone needs shirts. Yeah, every day I need a shirt, but I need something that's easy to find. It's comfortable, looks great, fits perfect. Bro, uh, don't go looking for shirts. Have shirts look for you. Shopping for shirts should be as simple as shopping for milk, man. Dude, are you talking about Twillery? Yeah. I knew it. Twillery. All the kids are talking about it. Dude, and we're the kids. Twillery shirts are comfortable, easy to care for, look great, and fit perfectly. You get a $100 shirt for $55 when you buy in bulk. Wow, and it's always free shipping in the U.S., and it's always free returns. They are slimming. They are tailored fit just for you, so you always look your best. You can wear them tucked untucked. You could tie them in that little thing that shows you're down to pot. Sure, uh, man. Maybe you're going to happy hour? Untuck it. Work? Tuck it. Yeah. They got it all, bro. They got it all. Live your life. Why not? Smart Casual just got smarter. Yep. Classic shirting that's tailored for untucked greatness. Go ahead. Unwind. Unplug. Most importantly, untuck. Life's too short to be tucked in. Oh, what's wrong with him? Is he sick? Does he have constipations? Is he nervous? Untuck. Untuck it, baby. And guess what? You guys, the King Sting listeners, get $25 off their first shirt by going to twillery.com slash K-A-T-S. That's T-W-I-L-L-O-R-Y dot com slash K-A-T-S and enter promo code CATS at checkout. Yep. I opened mine today because it was my birthday and I, and I, I actually should have worn it. I'd already planned to wear this. But next time I'll wear my Twillery. I'm going to wear mine too. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's have a Twillery I see bros. Oh, no. Tell them where they can get King it. King and the Sting listeners can get $25 off their first shirt order by going to Twillery.com slash K-A-T-S and entering promo code K-A-T-S at checkout. That's T-W-I-L-L-O-R-Y dot com slash K-A-T-S. Someone got to pay for Theo's haircut. Next up we have Debate Club and the first one the first wow. one. I, I, did, I need conspiracy. Who fucked with my horn? Nick, was it you? I, I love did that horn. Did you fuck with my horn, bro? Favorite part of the show. Bro, did you never... suck on the hole there? <laughs> I That's think we what need it, it sounds like someone sucked on the hole. What? Jesus Christ, bro. Go back to your birthday, dude. You were so much nicer, I bet. Let's was, get into that it. That was yesterday, bro. I know, bro. It's the past. Yeah. God, I hear that heat? And look at that light on mine. Oh, I didn't even know you had a light. First debate club topic <laughs> comes from Tristan Robinson. Tristan Thompson? TR. Let's what hit up, it. Theo? What up, Brennan? I got a debate club question for you. Who do you think are wanting to fight in their prime? Chuck Norris or Jean Glaude Van Damme? All right, gang, gang, buzz. buzz. Ooh, oh, got them cheeky cheekies out. Showing that butt at the end there, boy. Yeah. Trent, what's his name? Trent Rasner? Tristan Robinson. Tristan Robinson. Tristan boy. flexing them flat cheeks, bro. Flat, where's he from? He didn't say. Mm, yeah, you don't say after you show your ass to somebody over video. You yeah, don't you, tell where you're from. I like that move. Yeah, you, you mooned us, bro. Yeah, dude. A flat ass moon. I like that. Flat Earth crescent. Moon. That's that Flat Earth Moon. That's that Eddie Bravo, that dude. He's got two Eddie Bravos in the back of his pants. <laughs> two flat cheeks. Uh, what was the question? Oh, Chuck, L or, uh, Chuck Liddell. Chuck Norris, John claude Van Damme. Go ahead, bro. Oh, I have to go on this <clears throat> one. I will say uh, Chuck Norris. Mm. Because Chuck Norris is the kind of man, he look, you know, he's like a stepdaddy that also can fight. Ah, and fight at a high level. Mm. You know, it, and he can kind of be in any world. Chuck Norris can, um, you can see him one time in like a, oh, he's in a suit. Oh, he's on a tractor. Oh, he's, you know, selling insurance. You know, he's oh, got. Oh, he's in a Western. Yeah, he's a claims adjuster. He's in a Western, you know. He's banging Suzanne Summers. He's on the Tony G Gazelle freestyler. You know God, what I'm saying? Right, bro. He can fucking attack from anywhere. 
Whereas Jean Cloud, I think, is a little bit more limited. You know, Jean Cloud has that. Does the splits in his underwear? Always yeah, trying to fake fuck. tans, always trying to fuck. You're like, too oh. pretty. Yeah. Then had the coke habit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, like days, yeah. you and a martial artist, bro. Chuck Norris don't even drink or do coke. It's true. And you know not... what he gets high off of? Hmm. Kicking ass. Yeah, so I'm picking bro. that dude, bro. Chuck and... Norris all day. He's a, you know, he's, I think he was a legit black belt in jiu jitsu. John Claude Van Damme, I, he says he had some fights, but it's not documented yeah. at all. A lot of He's yeah. a fake Frank Dukes, bro. Yeah, he might Although, have. Better actor? John Claude Van Damme, bro, Lionheart, Bloodsport, Kickboxer, Bloodsport was so good. Cyborg. Dude, when I was growing up, Bloodsport was the only movie they had. I remember we'd go to the movie store. They had this place called Pat's Video, and they had shrimp and movies, dude. God, what a great And we'd go combo. there. Oh, get a fucking pound fried, of shrimp. Fried? Uh, no, peel and eat. All right. We'd go get a pound of shrimp and a fucking... And, but the only movie they had one time, they had seven copies of fucking Bloodsport. You're damn right they did. That's the how only good it movie. Is. One of the greatest <laughs> movies of all time. Okay, USA. Yeah, and John claude it. dude, now here's another thing, though. He also is a senior citizen male model, and a lot of men can't even do that, so that's cool. But when, you're, when your best thing is uh, the splits, you, you're missing out on life, bro. Like, all he does is the splits everywhere. That's true. Actually, he's the mayor of uh, Marina Del Rey, too. I used to live there and see the man. You, did you I really? I grew up the biggest John claude Van Damme fan of all time. Now, how big is he when you see him? Not a big man. Not a big man at all. That's the other reason I take uh, Middle-sized man. No, no, you're bigger than he is. Wow. Yeah. I mean, your shoulders are skinnier, but yeah. Yeah. But that's because I had a fever recently. Mm. Um, okay. Chuck Norris, all day. What's, 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 what's people saying? 63% say... Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. That's what's up. Gang, gang. That's, they know what's up. Buzz, buzz. Mm-hmm. All right. Next up for Debate Club comes from William Juice. Dub J. From Scottsdale, Arizona. Juicy Ju. William Juice on that Test 200, boy. What's up, Brendan? What's up, Theo? William Jost here, coming to you live from the Charlotte airport, heading home to beautiful Scottsdale, yeah. Arizona. And I got a debate club for you. Would you rather have the scrumptious Chick-fil-A or the delicious In-N-Out Burger? You forgot. Love you guys. Gang, 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 buzz, gang, buzz, 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 William, that Dub Juice grind. out there. Yeah. You can see he's obviously <clears throat> drug muling some fucking Decca right there. Willie Juice, they call him yeah, around the fucking is. gym. And I'll say this, I'll be in Phoenix, Arizona next weekend at good Stand segue, Up bro. Live. Yeah, so I had yeah. to say that. Um, but this is a good question. Is it though? Because I think, I'm going to take some heat, especially from the Cali fans. I think In-N-Out is so overrated. Dude, Chick-fil-A, you cannot go to Chick-fil-A and it's not. Crunkified. I yeah. mean, it is packed. Oh with yeah, all sorts of people. The what they put on that chicken, I have no idea. Mm -mm. And you know what? It's also limited. Go on a Sunday, no one's open. Yeah, you gotta wait, bro. It's limited the edition. Waffle fries. Oh, oh dude, dude, you, my mouth is water. And you can you put ever syrup got, you ever on got the, the waffle sample? fries. You ever done that? No. Oh my god, dude. Today you it's your birthday. Fucking, Fucking party, don't bro. Touch me, dude. Don't touch hey, me. You ever uh, got just been in the mall and then got the sample of chicken? Mm -hmm. I dare you not to buy a whole fucking. Sandwich after that. You do the fucking U-turn. Bro, it's so good. I'll buy eggs. I'll buy a dozen eggs after I eat it, bro. That's how fucking God. good Chick-fil-A is, dude. And also, the people that work at Chick-fil-A, a lot of times, if you're in the Atlanta airport, a lot of fucking rappers and bootleg rappers work there. So you buy fucking, a cool CD, too. Oh, they'll fucking put that fucking, put that uh, chicken with the pickle on a fucking mixtape, dude. Yeah, two mixtapes yeah, and chicken. Yeah, no buns. That's two your mix sandwich, tapes, bro. bro. Yeah. That's what I want, dude. You say you want the remix? That's what you get. Bite into that fucking bass line. <laughs> <laughs> they got real shit over there, man. <laughs> Dude, that's the other thing I don't like about In-N-Out is the secret menu. Yeah. That shit pisses me off with yeah. animal style or this style. Get like, put fuck. it on the menu, bro. Bro, Wendy's is so much better, I think, even than In-N-Out. I agree, In-N-Out is just a bunch of fucking lettuce, bro. It's like, oh, hey, how much lettuce can we put on here and still get the bun to look like it's on the top? And Let's a put thin it in this slice little... of beef. And a lot of the sandwiches look racist. They put that little white helmet on them, that little white bag. Oh, uh, I think you think of White Castle. No, in and out, man. They put it in like that white kind of half. Oh, box? The yeah, no, it's box. not a box. It's like a little. Oh, yeah, like the white pouch. Yeah, it's like a yeah, Ku Klux baggy. Klan's uh, hat. Oh, it's like, oh, they put it in the white hood. They put it in that white hood. That Dude, burger you put in the white two hood. fucking holes in that it. thing? I didn't even think about it, bro. Bro, that burger's looking for brothers in your neighborhood, and that shit needs to stop. Yeah, man. and they're not looking to play basketball. Yeah. Here's the other thing, too. Different. Here's the different. Here's the other thing. You got to think about Chick-fil-A, a little fucked up, but they do have standards. Yeah. I heard you can't even work there if you have tattoos. Yep. 
You got to be religious. Yep, you got to know the Lord, boy. You got to be married. Yeah, can't, can't be no single mom trying to fillet my chicken. Uh, uh-uh, uh, dude, you can't have any condoms in your pocket, bro. They want people that are just doing actual real sex, God's and, work, which yep. is making delicious chicken and making delicious babies, dude. Yeah, you can't even think about sucking dick, making my fries. Yeah, well, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A all day. This is- Let's see what the fan said. Dude, these are the. Oh, shit. Dang, that was boy. way closer than I thought, though. That a lot of way good closer stuff. Than I thought. And let's go abroad real quick and find out. Cat, what do people eat and uh, what, do, what do other people like? Panda Express. No. Uh, well, in Vietnam, they like Jollibee and KFC. There you go. Oh, KFC is huge. Yeah. But uh, McDonald's probably worldwide, yeah? Yeah, worldwide. But what Royal is Jollibee? Cheese? Jollibee is Filipino food. Filipino wow. Food. Oh, wow. Like, what kind good? of food are we talking, Cat? Uh, they have spaghetti. They have fried chicken. Really good fried chicken, actually. Mm-hmm. Spaghetti or fried chicken? They have, it's uh, a combo, too. Instead of, like, mashed potatoes, you can get spaghetti. Wow. That's disgusting. Okay. And Filipino spaghetti is slightly sweeter. Mmm. Mm. Now I'm in. All right, God, dude, that sounds so good, bro. Some fucking agave on some vermicelli, son. I'm that woke. That does sound nice. I'm fucking woke, son. A smoked penne with some sugar on top. <laughs> yeah, no, damn. <laughs> All right, the next one comes from Stuart Watson. Oh, yeah, this guy sounds like he's definitely done some things to women they didn't want. All right. Looks like What up, Beasting and Rat King? Gang, gang. Gang. Skeet, skeet. This is Dr. Skeet, Watson skeet. here coming you. at you with a debate question. <laughs> Would you rather have... A penis that's the size of a nipple, or nipples that are the size of penises. Debate. Buzz, buzz. That dude probably has some big ass nipples. I think Stu Watt is fucking coming in hot there with that fucking Rapunzel too. I think he's on the run. Huh? Looks like he's on the run. Yeah. They call it the lamb out there. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Listen, if you got them big old fucking pepperoni nipples that hang deep too, you can't. Yeah, think about it. You can't wear shit. Right. Like, no clothes, done. Yeah. You just look like an asshole. You got to wear baggy shit all the time, or you got to dress your nipples up all the time. It's exhausting. But would you rather have, so if you had wiener nipples, you'd have big wieners out here. I know, we, you can't milk, well, you can't really milk a man's wieners. Like, I, I'm not going to bust with my tits. Oh, I would. What are you going to do? Just have them there? You just want to get titty fucked? <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, man. <laughs> what? I think it'd be a party. It's your birthday, bro. No, not by a no, man, by want. a woman. Well, no woman's titty fucking you, bro. Well, some woman could just do sex with you by your chest, you know? Oh, like squeeze them together with her tits? No, or just ride one of your nipples. Oh, I see what you're saying. Jesus God Christ, dang, bro. Dude. Be more clear, bro. How? Okay, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you really How? be less blurry, dog. Dude, you come you're here blurry, blurry, bro. Dude, I, what, no, how am I blurry? <laughs> I'm talking about titty fucking. I didn't know yeah. what you were talking about. The titties are gone. You... It's wieners, man. It's wieners on top, dude. It's wieners on top. I would rather have that little love. nipple pee-pee, I think. Yeah, me too, bro. Imagine you could tell a girl, hey, I got the smallest dick you've ever seen, you know? Everyone's going to want to see it. Yeah, you want to come see the complete opposite of um, Stonehenge, you know what I'm saying? You want to yeah. come see the smallest dick. You want to see the pebble? Yeah, yeah. you're trying to get this pebble? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got the pebble dick, everyone's going to want to see it. Oh, yeah. And no one cares that you're going to jack off in front of them. Oh, in a, in a park, a squirrel will try to run up and crack it if you had a little pebble <laughs> penis, man. I think, yeah, that's the jam is that little bitty... Dude, you could probably do things, you could do luge or, you know, you could probably do like stuff a lot easier. You, you do know? anything, really. Like sky's the Sky's the limit. Oh. You ride all sorts of bikes, don't worry about your dick hanging out the front. Yeah. Also, if you got them uh, dick nipples, it's a nightmare, man. Yeah. It's a nightmare. You ain't playing any sports. Can't take your shirt off in the bedroom. No, can't take your shirt off at the pool, dude. People are going to try to throw like... Um, People are going to try sucking your tits. Yeah, or throw like uh, those little like frisbees and or those little... You know, and get disc? him to, yeah, there's disc to get oh, him to try and win a teddy bear. Yeah, like try to get him a st- stick on your. Yeah, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, you'd be a fucking carnival the game. Wiener schnitzel child. nipples. Oh, I don't yeah. want it, dude. You have to. You, people would do that thing where they take little hot dogs if they get a picture of you and put buns on the outside <laughs> of your tits. <laughs> but I mean, it would be fun. You know, I think it would be fun. It'd be I think. an interesting life. Yeah, it'd be an interesting. But so life. is having a pebble dick. Yeah, but in some countries, I think you'd be really be the cat's meow. What do people say? 76% said penis-sized nipples. Wow. 
Wow. That's crazy. That is insane. It says a lot. But also having a really little wiener and then nuts behind it would be crazy. <laughs> oh, bro. You got them fat, filled up nuts with a little perched up dick on top. Oh, yeah, dude. dude yeah. Looking like a fucking toad with small oh, eyes. It you know look, when toads fill up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It would be like a worm, like just kind of peeking out of an apple. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it would be fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's unnecessary. I think, uh, I think Stewart just needs to really kind of tighten up a little bit. I do love that rat tail, though. I, I like the way he's dressed. I think he needs to tighten up on life, though. Praise he's the Lord, right. brother. Yeah, hopefully you figure it out with your nips. Uh, last one for Debate Club, coming from JP from Kalamazoo. Oh, yeah, Michigan. I want to come perform up there. Yo, what up, Brendan? What up, Theo? Quick question for Happy y'all. Happy post-St. Paddy's, bud. Better food quality, brick-and-mortar restaurants or food trucks? Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, my red-bearded friend. Buzzy, buzzy, buzz. Um... It's going to be tough to fuck with brick and mortar because they're not moving. They have a stationary They got of, that grill is there. It's they, parked. They got a plan. They yeah. got a plan. With, the fo- with a food truck, it can be chaos. They're hit or miss. Some, amazing. Yeah. Get in and out pretty quick. You can walk the streets out with your taco or churro or fucking pasta, whatever you got, or lobster roll. Outside that, though, man, brick and mortar, right? Yeah, I you don't think, want a tornado for a meal all the goddamn time. I like to go sit down at like a Wendy's or like a Arby's, you know. I like to be in there, see who's in there, get to know the locals, you know, see who's working, see who's resting. The riff. Fill out a complaint form, yeah. Yeah. Trucks, you don't have a complaint form at the food trucks. There's no, you know, you got to go around to the driver's side and fucking kind of knock on the other window and it's just the same person comes over and you're like, hey, the fucking, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you might be a good driver, but you're not a good cook. Yeah, you know? it's very strange. It's, it's very one person awkward. operation. Yeah, it's really crazy. Like it's the chef, it's the customer service, it's PR. They're all in the same truck. It's the same person. Yeah, and I don't usually trust anybody a grill that close to an emergency break. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere yeah. that you got like, you know, with a little, you know, they accidentally don't set the break and the whole fucking restaurant could just be out of business. Yeah, and there goes your grilled cheese. Yeah. So I think it's a little risky. And also out of the trucks, they sell a lot of junk. You know, it's good stuff, but it's like it's nothing you could raise a baby on. Depends what it, there's some that are hitters and then some are terrible. Some's the worst food you ever try in your life. Some some of the best food you ever try in your life. Right now it's the Wild West, bro. Yeah, it's still like, is the if Wild you, West. You and I wanted to open one, we could do it. Yeah. Making mo- fucking mushrooms if we wanted to. Yeah, you know. What would we call it? I wonder if we did a food truck. Pisces Bros. No. Pisces, Pisces Brothers Pi- Pasta. Pisces Bros Pies. Ooh. PPPs. <laughs> it's PBP. Okay, nice try. Yeah, you're right. But still, you're man, right, hey. You know what I'm and saying, And I shouldn't though? have corrected you, man, but it's my birthday. If it was still your birthday, I would have let you slide. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, it dude. is your birthday. You do whatever you Pisces want. Pisces Brothers Pies, dude. Yeah, bro. Fucking just b- hitting them cold slices out the door, boy. Fuck yeah, them fucking just thin New York slices. Ooh, New York-style pie. Yeah. We don't fuck with the thick crust. Uh-uh. Get that shit out. We don't fuck with square slices. I want that graham slices. cracker, those vegan hitters, too, yeah. dude. Something healthy for somebody, you know? Mm. It's pizza, so don't fuck it up, though, you know? They got Kratom it cake. It's not pizza. I'm talking actual pie. Oh, you want, you want to make, like, cherry pie and shit? Yeah, or say Pisces Brothers Pizza, then, if it's pizza. Well, no, because the people in the know call pizza pies, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, a couple people do. Pisces and, Bros Pies, yeah. and where we got fucking, we got fucking sausage, pepperoni, <laughs> meat lovers. What do you want, bro? You want cheese? You want that margarita? We got it, bro. <laughs> dude, nah. We got it, man. Whoa, bro. You we, just... got that, we got that Theo crazy bread. <laughs> that Theo crazy bread. Put a little fucking devil's little dandruff on top. Top. Little kratom, yeah, yeah, yeah. little kratom crust, yeah, that kratom crust, that, that deep dish kratom crust, yeah. that kratom cracker crust, bro. That show would be fire, dude. That would be pretty cool to have, uh, maybe like a creatine filled donut. I yeah. could sell those, that'd be dope. It would be cool to have something that's like sweet but also has that kind of power lifters vibe. Somebody that's about to, you know, just really just hit the gym, you know, yeah, just put a bunch of caffeine in a fucking, yeah, a pizza roll. Yeah, I love that, yeah. man. Wow, another bad idea. <laughs> what do they say? 62% of the fans said food trucks. Fuck that. Now, if you go the right food truck, though, I can vouch for that. That shit is delicious. Well, what is the difference between Postmates and it? it's all like, it's just like how close do you want the food? You know? How fast do you want to get it? Yeah, how fast do you want to get it? And usually the faster it is, the less good it is. Depends. If some restaurants take forever. Like you go to a steakhouse, you're there for seven hours. Really? No one has that time. Yeah. It's dark. You got to talk to people, wait to be seated. 
it's loud. But you can order something that could be healthy for you. You get a food truck, it's like, fuck, what do we got here? It's one place, it's like sometime they got that Persian fucking roadster out there. It's just two Persian dudes selling fucking dirty beef out of the back, you know? Yeah, you can find an Armenian food truck just selling hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I think they're crazy. shaving each other in the back. Yeah. Dude, that reminds me, uh, speaking of, we had Honey Boo Boo on earlier. One of my favorite episodes was when they went to the wig shop, and the name of the wig place was called, Shh, It's a Wig. <laughs> no way. Yeah. That's so dope. <laughs> That's so Because wigs are those secret tops, bro. Yeah, wigs. No one wants to know you have a wig on. You Dude, know? once you have a wig, unless you have cancer, if you have cancer and you want to have a wig for that, you know, that comfortability and, you know, to be less aerodynamic, then that makes sense. But if you're just wigging, you know, that shit is... That shit's embarrassing. Because then all you're doing is trying to pretend like you don't have a wig on. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's your whole that's life. That's your whole agenda for the day <laughs> is that you don't get found out like you're a Russian spy in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you have a wig on. Like it consumes your life. <laughs> you're right, bro. Dude, your whole life is just like, hey, do I look like I have a wig on or Your whole not? life is hoping a fucking <laughs> gust of wind doesn't cut, hit your day to fuck your whole world up. It is so weird, wigs. Dude, we should definitely learn more Dude, about Dude, you ever seen when wigs. two girls get in a fight and someone has a wig? Yeah, yeah. Classic. <clears throat> oh, seen yeah. those kids that do the prank on instagram where they grab someone's wig and runs off mm -mm. oh dude classic dangerous that sounds like dangerous yeah people kill over wigs dude okay what else do we got here it's that does it for debate club it's time for rip my drip first up we got rhina <laughs> what's the deal with her man rip my drip huh well first of all those ovaries that she has printed on the dress what is that yeah, it's either ovaries or a calzone of some sort. Yeah, it looks like something that was in the microwave for too long, dude. Yeah, it looks um, like a Totino's pizza gone wrong. Oh, um, yeah, bro. Now, that's kind of sexy. Imagine if a girl yeah. had a skirt with a couple Totino's pizza rolls hanging oh, off dude, the side I'm of it. In, I'm dude, in. Let them cool dude. off, too. Oh, uh, but bite into one of them and burn your fucking Oof, lips first. Every time. <laughs> every time, Every bro. time, bro. Dude, they could all be frozen. And there's that one that's just fucking that one just like, oh. fucking assassin. That bitch that showed up. That lava assassin. That Chuck Norris of fucking yeah, Totino's bro. pizza rolls. That bitch showed up ready to... Dude, when's a lot... Look at this little pizza pocket when's the last time you had a pizza pocket Remember oh those? and yeah. then they tried going pizza lean get the fuck out of my face Dude, the lean yeah. pockets and they were just smaller <laughs> yeah it was half of a pizza pocket yeah, and it comes in that little coffin and i still ate <laughs> two of them yeah dude. you know what i'm saying <laughs> Pizza pockets were good, man. Like, yeah, shout out to um, pizza pockets. And pizza positories. Have you ever had those, bro? I haven't. You're on the run, bro, and you need a fucking... You need and, that pizza Oh, hit? you want that... Oh, you want that... Uh, that The works thin crust? You just shove one of those pizza positories in your butt, dude. All right. It's straight through the whole... It's like... The meat lovers? And yeah, after... If you belch a couple times, you can taste the pizza a little. Oh, damn. Yeah. All right. Pretty cool. Speaking of meat lovers, um, so it looks like... She has a very basic girl's room. I will say that. I've I've been in a similar type of bedroom probably too. 70 times. Me too. About 38 times. I'll tell you right now, that dresser, not reliable. Yeah. That thing you will don't fall think? Up. That thing will fall, break at any given moment. Now, the dresser looks possibly inherited to, from somewhere, from It looks someone. haunted, if anything. It could be haunted. I could see the bottom drawer having a couple of former people Now, I'll in tell it. you this. You uh, hit that fucking drip, drip pizza pocket right that stuff on the wall is falling down oh wow if you're getting after it that, that that stuff on the wall that fucking uh dream catcher or nightmare catcher mm -hmm. whatever the fuck that is that's oh coming yeah down. that's that fucking little hope tapestry i'll tell you this dude that I, well that thing will definitely stay up if i'm fucking bro i'm that low-key fucker you you, you that you look like a vegan fucker. i'm the quiet fucker i'm the emphysema of sex dude you no, know you what look i'm saying like, nobody everybody <laughs> no one knows what's going on oh nobody yeah you look like i do that <laughs> lays down and gets fucked Oh, yeah. And then smokes a cigarette out. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, I'll smoke an invisible cigarette, dude. I bet you just lay there <laughs> yeah. while she's like, you good? Oh, yeah, and just complain about the, yeah, complain about the and country. And she walks up and takes a piss. Oh, yeah. My, yeah, I'm low-key. That's the low vibe key. you give off, yeah. Oh, very low-key. I don't mind sleeping before sex either, actually. That's one of my old moves. You like to rest? Let's just rest, yeah. Let me get that rest. Dude, watching two episodes of Dateline together, just as good as fucking, I think. Now you see you getting older, bro. Yeah. It's all we're good. Yeah, that's true. So mm -hmm. well. next up for Rip My Drip. we But got... you look nice though. I want to say that. So no, that's a what's badass, her name? Uh, Tabitha? Rhina. Rhina, yeah, yeah. Now from bowling green, bro. Is she? Oh wow, it's a mental health facility. <laughs> Uh, next up, we've got Taj. Now, Big Taj obviously opens and opened up a bootleg pharmacy in his fucking living room. Look yeah, at that he did. Stuff. Obviously, Taj sells fucking perfume. 
on the weekends out yeah. of his car. Yeah, and it looks like he got some in his eyes too, bro. Taj is uh, uh it looks Taj like, Mahai, bro. It looks like that he spilled Rogaine all over his chest. Oh yeah. It's fucking his beard and his chest just one continued piece. Taj has definitely repurposed a little bit of local hair for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, or his bush has just grown all the way up to his neck, bro. You got to tighten up. I think up it's at that one. Point. I think he has a one piece. It's a one piece hair piece. Some people have that. Some people's grandparents grew up in very cold areas, and they they'll have full body families, full body hair on the family. I mean, I can't even tell the necklace. It, it looks like it, you know, like a good looking dude. Yeah, seems like a handsome guy. He's got that uh, scarf. Unironed pants. I fucking respect that, dude. The fuck it pants? Yeah, fuck it, dude. What's up with those bracelets? Zoom zoom in on the watch and bracelets for me. What's up with the chain? What are we doing here? He's got those little Bangladeshi hitters right there. Okay. Yeah, he does. And those could be his or those could be keepsakes from crime. Mm -hmm. The Middle East rings. You never know these days, man. It's a dangerous time. Look at that stolen china in the back. Yeah, you know that china's not yours, bro, unless he, unless he lives with his grandma. <laughs> yeah, ain't the last dude you knew under 80 yeah, yeah. years old with china. Go. Yeah, yeah. That ain't his. Or he stole it. Or, he, or he's robbing this house and went, quick, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a fan of King and the Sting. Take my pick. Yeah. Let him rip my drip real quick while I steal this old lady's shit. Yeah, feel my steal. What's it called? <laughs> Send this in to him, you know? Take my China. Jesus, man. Okay, but Shout thank you for Taj, sending in, though. Taj. Yeah, you seem like a healthy man. Ho hopefully you got away clean, bro. About 6'2", looks healthy, nice uh, posture. Last one from Nova Scotia. This is CJ Hamilton. Damn, Damn or it's bro. Darius Rucker, bro. Uh, Darius Ruffer? He... Um, what was the song? Why you want me? That's Derek. Ru Derek the Rucker. dolphins make me cry. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's him, right? Hooting the blowfish. Yeah, dude. That's him right there, dude. I heard, I heard if you find Darius Rucker and you yell out, Hootie, he freaks the fuck out. Bro, because really? Because he's Darius Rucker now. He's killing country. Oh, yeah, I can see that. That's I Fro that. Rogan. Go back to that dude, man. That's Fro Rogan right there, bro. Dude, he looks like all sorts of fun. His pants are so tight. That's James Hardley. Look at this dude, man. But I love he's got that Hawaii hitter on. He's got that chest meat showing out. Now, he's a total opposite of Sweet Taj that just sent in that JPEG. Because yeah, he is. He's a smooth seal. He is a smooth seal. He don't have any chest hair. Zero. He's the exact opposite. Look how slick. I bet you couldn't keep a drop of water on his chest for oh, half you ain't, a second. You ain't holding him down. Oh, God, dude. Forget about it, Theo. Oh, you put butter on that guy, you'll never fucking hug him. He, he just, I mean, look how smooth he is. Is. And uh, he's I'm not got, mad at the fanny pack. It's pretty filled up, though. What nope. you're carrying, I have no idea. Yeah, that thing looks a little. Yeah, you gotta you gotta take some items out of that fanny pack. It's too thick, bro. You got yeah. too much shit to carry in there. You need a backpack if you gotta carry yes. that much stuff. Yeah, or just tie the fanny pack onto your back or sew it onto the back of a shirt. Yeah, that's a good point. Good looking dude, though. Not mad at the outfit. Not mad at the chain. Pretty confident at his mom's house, no socks on. Yes. Shout out to this dude. Now, that's the giveaway, though, is you got the style, but you got to get a house or a place of your own. You got to get some respect for yourself. Yeah. You get your socks on at your mom's house taking pictures. <laughs> yeah, dude, You're too yeah. comfortable. You're too comfortable. Yeah, in the basement, too comfortable, bro. man. Watching and reruns of Family Ties. Get out. Yeah, get, get out. out to the world, bro. Get out in the world. Start man. a food truck. See what you can see. Yeah, Call start... it Pisces Bros Pie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, get out there. What else we got? That does it for Rip My Drip. Next up, King It or Sting It. All right. Let's get into this, I fuck, man. Dude, I tell you, man. The first one comes from... It's some angel dust. Is that still around, dude? God, I'd take a some. Yeah, it's your birthday. I wish somebody would accidentally fucking inject some into me. Yeah, I wouldn't mind some. This comes from Deacon from Vegas. Greetings from rainy Las Vegas. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Yeah. Got King or Sting It for you. King It or Sting It. Nipple rings on hot chicks. Do you mean Let hot me know what you think, guys. Or dudes. Well, uh, Conor McGregor going through a tough week. First of all, <laughs> I want to say that. He's, uh, uh, he's had too much uh, Profit 26 or whatever it is. What is it? Uh, proper 12, proper, bro. Proper 12. But I'll say this, gang gang, to you, brother, and that's one of our Armenian brothers right there. Or he could be German. Uh, not Armenian, Let's is he? Let's hear him again. Uh, I'd probably say he is straight from uh, Dublin. He's from rainy Las Vegas. Oh, Las Vegas. Guy. That's a Las Vegas accent. And what was his question? He wants to know about... Buzz, you want... buzz. Got King or Sting It for you. King, it or, sting King it or Sting It for you. Nipple rings on hot chicks. Oh. Oh. 
fucking king it, dude. dude. King, king, king. Bro, my thing is, too, dude, a lot of times I'll give a girl a key to my apartment just put it right on that nipple ring, dude. Yeah, I'll leave my fucking garage door open on that <laughs> oh, nip, yeah. bro. I, don't, I trust a girl has a nipple Oh, pierce, yeah, She's dude. down for the cause. If I release them tits and their pairs, I think... We about to get wild. Oh yeah, and you see them nipple rings, and some of them, sometimes you'll have a girl. She's a janitor. She's got like thirty keys on one of the nipples. It's on the just ring. all dudes, fucking yeah, keys, yeah. and it doesn't matter. Here's the thing, though: if you if you're getting hot and heavy with a girl, and you unrelease them fucking one two tits, and you see some nipples, it'd be like showing up to your friend's house. He opens the garage with two motorcycles and a bag full of coke. Oh you're yeah, you're getting wild, bro. You're oh, getting yeah. wild. Dude, and those, you know it's going to be a wild night. Oh, yeah. And sometimes you'll see a girl maybe in Miami or somewhere exotic, Ecuador, where they'll walk their dog. They'll have a chain going from the dog to their tit, you know, where you can have your tit out. Even more so. That's fucking baffling, God, bro. Damn. And that's when I throw that Frisbee and watch that thing fucking perk out. Yeah, you know? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, so we're all four nipples. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying four of that, dude. Yeah, and, me uh, too. Thank King you. For, thank you, sir. Good Speed. question, bro. Next up. Mary. King it. Hi, guys. Love you. Love your podcast. King and the Sting. The Fighter and the Kid. This past weekend, we listen to you. We stream you. Thank you, Mary. It's become our new obsession. Mm. But enough of the ass kissing. Let's get down to business. Jesus. Mm. King it or sting it. Lip injections. Gang, gang, sting, sting. Love you. It's buzz buzz, girl. Wow, sting sting was kind of cool. Sting sting's pretty cool. Sting sting rolls off your tongue, doesn't it? Yeah. Gang uh, gang sting sting. Buzz buzz sting. Buzz buzz kind of delay. It kind of fucks everything up. Buzz buzz. I don't know. Buzz buzz sting sting. They're, king, they're king. good. Sting sting gang gang. Drip drip. Um, lip injections. Listen, man. From my experience, I'm a fan. Yeah. I'm a fan. Dude, ask Kylie Jenner how her lips are doing. She went, she's a dope ass girl. Now, before she had nothing. Her lips didn't exist. She goes to the Kim K doctors. Now she's a smoke show. Found her a man. Found her a rapper. Sure, he's cheating on her, but at least she got one. Yeah. She got one in the fucking web. You know That's what I'm true. saying? She wouldn't do that. Anything's possible through lip injections <clears throat> in God. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Now, if you definitely look at that. Dumbass on the left. Lips from the Lord, dude. Now look at her on the right. Uh, first of all, on the left, that's a nine-year-old child. That's and a nine-year-old man, but look what the doctor did on the right. Yeah. But she looks too artificial for me. I'm scared about how she's going to look in three years. She's going to start to look... Uh, you remember when you have a pool toy and you leave it out in the sun over the summer, and like later in the summer, you're like, oh, man, this no, thing... I thought this was yellow. Now it's a bronze. Yeah, it's yeah. bronze, and it's flattened a little bit, yeah. and you don't know what's going on. Yeah, you know what I did? Took that shit back to the store and had them work <laughs> on it, bro. Wow. And then it came back even better. That's what oh, you can yeah. do with these girls with their tits, their face, their mouth, even asses. Well, we had a guy bus did pool toy repair, dude. It's not a big business. That was the problem. No, it's not booming. But yeah, I say lip injections. I say no. It just even seems uncomfortable. Even if you have nothing, though, Theo, even if you have that little twizzler for an upper lip. I'd rather see that fucking Lester Holt, you know? And Lester Holt, if you was a real crime hunter, you'd fucking track down your upper lip, daddy. And I'll fucking say that. I think I've said it before. Ooh, but Lester wow. Holt has Good zero call. upper lips, Holy bro. fuck. Bro, yeah. you don't tell me he would look a thousand times better? With two lips. With two lips? Like, he only has one. Like, someone bit off the top. Yeah. Like, he was with some whore in the early 90s. She bit off his top lip. Oh, yeah, with ShamWow's ex-girlfriend. It looks like he had a little bit of maybe too much coke one time. That fucking hard hit her and coke. He just and chomped his own Ripped fucking, it off himself. Yeah. Thought it was fun. Yeah. That front piece. Dude, I just feel like... Got to have some lips, bro. That fucking top soft bumper. I don't think you have anything heavy, though, dude. If you kiss a girl that have those injections, it's like uh, it's like trying to eat a piece of hard sushi. Nah, you know? not, not if you do it right. You're talking about that eel? No, not if you do it right, though, man. If you do it right, you go to a good doctor, they look good, man. They you, look neat. I'll say that. They look cool. They look, they remind you of like... You ever been with a girl with a, with a fake ass? I like a know. Brazilian ass where they put in the fat? No. Not the... What is that? Me. Awesome. Is it? This is me. Awesome. I've seen some fake asses that haven't aged very well, though, and like some of that starts to go out on the side or the That's leg. That's the exception, bro. For the, you, go to Miami. I was just in Miami. Fake ass is everywhere. Really? Best time of your life. How much is a fake ass, you think? 30, 40 Gs. Jesus. No, I, don't, I have no idea. I'd get half of it and just you know have that side, walk by that side with the guys. You could do that. Just stay on one side. <laughs> just walk that same street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you could do that. All right, next one. This comes from the self-proclaimed self, -pro self -proclaimed Lat Lizard King. 
Hell yeah. Brandon, Theo, King it or Sting it? Fucking snow. What do you think, bros? Gang bang. Cuz cuz. <laughs> Gang bang. Yeah, Gang hit bang. that horn, bro. Gang. That, but Shout that's out that to fucking, the Wild Lizard King, Dude, when bro. they pull that horn, boy, that's that fucking titty whistle, man. Now that, that's when you're, it, the yeah. lizards go, hmm? And they come <laughs> running to the trucks, man. <laughs> fucking Komodo dragon horn. Um, snow, that's a good one. Listen, I grew up in the snow. Did you? I grew up in Denver in the snow, and you can fucking keep it, bro. Did you, you really ever had or yellow not? snow? Yeah, I grew up in the snow. You ever had yellow snow? No, it's dirty. Yeah, people pissing in it. Yeah, I could yeah, see bro. that, but there's so much more snow you could go by. Mm, you'd be surprised. People just piss everywhere in the snow. I've never seen anything like that. You've never been to Denver? Uh, I have been to Denver. Mm, recently? I mean, I'm sure people have pissed throughout time, so I don't think. Were you there in the 90s? Nope. So there we go. So um, I think uh, a big no to snow. Yeah, I think snow it's is... It's annoying. It's cold. It's, it, looks, it looks pretty when it first falls. Then give it an hour or two in the cars and people walking on it looks into shit. But snow, I think, is that excitement. It's like free excitement just out of the sky. You know, it reminds you that you live in on a plane that occasionally where, you know, some higher power drops snow on you. You know, it's like it reminds you that, you know, you get free excitement. You get to make a snowman. You get to get out of school when you're young. You get to get, you throw snow at somebody, then they throw it harder at you and hit you in the face. Yeah, you learn a lesson. A snowball fight. Bro. This is the thing. You know how you say snow days? Mm -hmm. You know what type of shit we had to go through to get a snow day? Mm -mm. I mean, it would have to be a fucking Category 7 blizzard. We used to have to go through some shit. They wouldn't. They would never cancel it, man. Really? No, it was exhausting for everyone involved. But you need to learn it. what? Huh? To yeah. learn what? Great question. While you stayed at home now with your right. mom, yeah. I had to go to school and learn other shit. Dude, I had to bike to school five miles, kicking crocodiles away from my feet. Huge mosquitoes. One time, a mosquito picked me up and took me to a different school. Picked me right up off my bike. That's the movie of Jumanji, bro. Mm. Well, I'll say this, dude. What was the guy's question? This guy's a trucker, bro. This guy's obviously done some fucking... Dude, he's the Lot Lizard King. Yeah. That's for sure. Sure. Lot wow. Lizard King, bro. Dude, imagine getting smelling the fucking... Feeling the rumble of that truck and getting a sweet Hummer at the same time. Now, ah, that is God, preach, brother. brother. God. That's that is God, boy. U.S. of A all the way. Damn, boy. Damn, I'm dropping dimes. Dude, I would pour gasoline out of the window while I drive if I was driving a big truck like dude, that. Dude, I would drink Mountain Dew Red, mm-hmm. just fucking Mountain Dew Code Red, and just fuck all the lot lizards if i was him yeah i just have a whole fucking slurpy machine in the back of my chair man and just get my dick sucked <laughs> really? all over the nation oh yeah i'd pull into montana oh yeah i'd go all vermont over. vermont you bet your ass i'm getting my asshole licked in new hampshire wow yeah bro i'm having clam chowder in boston while getting sucked off <laughs> jesus dude <laughs> what's up bro you ever Nothing. had some gumbo in new orleans yeah, man. Wall getting sucked off <laughs> in a truck? I don't think and you so. You ain't living, Theo. You're right. You're right. God, bro. I'll That's what I'm that. saying. This guy's living the dream. We're the suckers in here. If he has a gun, he is. If he doesn't, though, what's he doing? He's the lizard king, bro. That's true. He probably has at least a 38. I would say this, man. I think snow is great. I think it's, you know, I don't have to deal with it as much, so I know that some people have a tough time, but it shuts down the interstate, which gives you a chance to meet other people instead of having to just drive by them all the time. Mm-hmm. I think um, snow gives you a chance to stay home from work sometimes. I fell down in the snow. Um, you are slipped on black ice, still? Yeah, actually, I slipped a couple weeks ago. I still have a cut on my leg from it. Where did you slip in black ice? New York City. All right, that's fair. Uh, dude, that I was shit is so slippery. Running across the street, and I was like, "Oh, that's this." It's kind of, and <laughs> ate it. Bro. I would pay so much money to have that fucking footage. But remind me, hurts so bad. It reminds you that how like fuck. If that was a little worse, I could have died. You're Here, like, no. Here's the thing: if you were a little old, older, you would have broke your hip. Oh, you're dead. Well, you're breaking your hip. Snow kills old people all the time, dude. And look, here's the thing: old people are great <laughs> until they're not. You know, until they get hurt, and you got to fucking hear them. Complain the hospital for the rest of their life, dude. It's fucking low. look. It it thins the herd a little bit, and we need snow every now and then. A couple old people, you know, they head to heaven off that fucking snow slip. So, mm. and that's how it works. The plants need melted snow, water. So I say king it. I say fuck snow. And that does it for fuck king. You. It. <laughs> that does sting, it. Sting. King it or sting it. Uh, it's time for some relationship advice. 
And just a reminder, you can send your relationship questions to kingitorstingit at gmail.com. We need some more of these. Let these two guys help you out. Ladies, let the too. Let the experts help you out, bro. <laughs> let the, let the one-two Pisces bro experts help you out, man. Yeah, dude. He's, you know, <laughs> fucking imaginary lot lizards, and I'm lonely. So let's figure this shit out, people. We got you. The first one up comes from Briggs. Mm. Great name. Briggs Meyer. Make toothbrushes. Hey, King in the Sting. It's Brig from Utah. Wow. Just chilling, coming back from university. The U. Anyway, I got a relationship advice question for you guys. Why is he looking around? So, I've been dating this girl for a couple of months. She is uh, four years fresh off the boat from China. Oh, so wow. So, she's that authentic Chinese. Oh, yeah. Why'd you look at Cat uh, like that? Sweet anyway. Noodle. That's I've been dating noodle. for a while, and it's been going really good. But last uh, last weekend, I tell her that I think I like her, I kind of dig her, and she didn't really reciprocate. So I was kind of she doesn't speak English. Pretty well. <laughs> and the next morning, she texts me, Uh-oh. and it turns out she's 33 years old. Hey, Amen, brother. And I'm only 24, so that's a nine-year difference. <laughs> So it's like a really big difference. Yeah, so, I guess think? my question is, what do you guys think about uh, Run, bro. A big age gap. She's a spy. Uh, are they okay? Bro, run. Really mind, so I was just wondering you fucking figured it out. Report to authorities. Anyway, gang, gang. Fuck your relationship. God bless. Bye. No, bro. Amen. This, dude, you figured it out. You know how long FBI have to fucking do work to fucking catch these Chinese spies? And she opens up to you. You know why she didn't understand what you said? She didn't speak fucking English, bro. That's why. Run, bro. She's 33 in Chinese yeah. years. Yeah, you know how old Yao Ming was when he came here? He was 67. Yeah, he we was just older. figured it out. He, Dude, yeah. if your girl yeah. says she's 33, she's 72 years old and she's a spy. Well, she definitely seems like someone that's interested in you, though. I'll say that. You know, she's, you know, she came <laughs> over here. I wonder where they met, I guess, online, probably. And she came over here to see you. I think you got to at least give her a couple months to see how it plays out. I mean, also, how do you not have an idea maybe that somebody's 33, you know? <laughs> no, we talked about this. Chinese people, you cannot tell. Yeah. Like, but, I, benefit of the doubt there, he probably looked at her like, damn, she's young as fuck. She's at university with me, too. Yeah, she's there infiltrating to be a college student. Yeah. And obviously, honey dicked you into being her man. And when you go, oh, I think I love you, and she's like, she doesn't know yeah. fucking English, bro. You're that little white fucking treat, brother. You know? Yeah, You're bro. You're that little soy snack. You're a small piece in this fucking clock. But this I'll Chinese clock. Treat her with respect, man, because the Chinese, they don't give a fuck, dude. No, she'll jack you off with her feet. They kill you, they come back as a dragon. They come back as a lamb. They mm. come back as a fucking anything they want. As another Chinese person, dude. The reincarnation wheel in of being Chinese spins so much faster. I hear that the holding tank, if you die as a, just a white guy, it's fucking 10 to 12 years to get back into existence. Oh, Chinese, exhausting. dude, you're working at a factory in a fucking year and a half. Making iPads. Yeah, or, or eye patches. Uh, let's go abroad. <laughs> let's go to our consultant, Kat. What do you think about this? Since you may know these people. Well, I don't know. I do know over in Asia, mm -hmm. we are much more sexually like repressed. Mm. Talk about stuff like that. She is older. Mm -hmm. She's here. I mean, I but, go for it. Even though, but yeah, but I don't think he was like, "Yo, I'm trying to get my dick sucked tonight after class." I think he was like, "Hey, I think I'm really into you. We should get a bite to eat." And she just ran off. Oh, well, how do they view that diff that age gap dating in other places? Do you think? Oh yeah, you never really see an old like Japanese dude with a young Japanese girl. Mm -mm. Well, I know in China specifically. There are more guys trying to, they're trying to get more guys to date girls because so many parents wanted boys. So during the one child policy, a lot of people kept the sons and gave away the girls. Mm. So now there's a big gap in girl to guy ratio. It's a real cock fest out there. Yeah. So why did she come here, you think? Did she, maybe she likes white guys. Is that a new thing? Maybe. A yeah. lot of Asian girls do like white guys. Wow. Dude, there's hope. Bonus, huh? There's there hope, hope, brother. Don't touch me, dude. A couple of fucking Pisces bros gangbang. Gang. Cuz, cuz, bro.
Trip, trip. Um, bus, so bus. good luck out there, man. At least you're in Utah. It's a beautiful place. Good luck to Utah State and the NCAA tournament. And it the seemed, U. Yeah, it seemed like you have a chance, brother. Uh, I'd be careful, though, man. What, tread lightly with this one. Yeah, She's tre- obviously hiding something more than just uh, her feelings for you. Yeah. I think she's a spy. That Bichon Frise, bro. All right. Uh, and the second and last one for relationship questions comes from Ali. Ooh, Ali. Ooh, Ali. Hi, guys. It's Ollie here from England. I'm just wondering about a little bit of advice from you. Um, so basically, sometimes I like working out and going to the gym no way. with my bros more than I like having relations with my girlfriend. Oh, you gay, bro. Is this bad? Let me know. Not at all. You gay man. And there's nothing wrong with you that. You think that he is? Uh, if you would rat... Hold on. Beautiful. If he, now, listen. He's a good-looking dude. Yeah. Looks fit, right? Congrats. Tight little S curl he has in his head there. This is all good. Looks like a straight character out of fucking Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Fantastic. Listen, if you would... There's not... I love you. I love most of my friends. If I could rather fuck a hot girl than lift weights with my bros... Mm-hmm. I'm picking the girl 99.9% of the time, bro. Well, that's old-fashioned thinking, I think. I think, look, man. The gym's going to be there. Yeah, but it's not going to be there at the time that all your buddies can go and maybe somebody has a fucking sack of fresh chicken cutlets afterward. You guys can grill up and fucking make fun of each other. I think you have some of those opportunities, man. Fucking's kind of old school, dude. People are that are, you know, it's like... You know, we you get it. We fucked, you know? So it's like, I used to do that in college, man. I'd rather go sometimes with my with my buddies over to the rec center and do the weights and go get the um, meal plan after that and get that unlimited uh, pudding. Here's and the so thing, they though. had all kind of good stuff over there. So look, I feel you, man. But I think you, you just don't want to disrespect your girlfriend that you do it all the time. I think you want to make some time for her. But I didn't like to, you know, ejaculate because... I didn't want to um, uh, not have any power at the gym. I'd have more power if I had more uh, seed in me. Yeah, if you had that cum flowing through the veins. The thing is, too, and listen, maybe he's not gay. Maybe and I will say this. Yeah, give I him would, a chance, I would, guy. I would, I would, well, hear me out here. I'm going to defend him here. I would much rather hang out with my bros. I'd much rather hang out with my bros if we're just hanging out for a good time. I have more in common with my bros than I do a girl yeah. or my girl. You know, it's like, all right, you know, <laughs> all right. <laughs> dude, yeah. So I yeah. get what he's saying You're like there. the dad from the Wonder Years, dude. You just come home and you're fucking pissed. And then your family, le- you, all your kids leave to go fucking be in Woodstock. Yeah, so maybe, I'm going to say bro. this, man. I think if you got to do what you got to do, trust your instincts, dude. It doesn't mean you're a homoerotic guy. And even if you are, bro, who cares? You're a handsome guy. You could probably fuck one of your buddies if you want. Dude, you guys could deadlift all day and fuck each other at night. Yeah. You could do that. They do that at <clears throat> fucking 24 Hour Fitness in West Hollywood. It's a package you pay for. But it's, yeah, but it's, look, if you want to just treat your girl right, make sure that if you go get something for dinner, get her one. Did he say he has a girl, though? Or yeah. did he say he'd rather hang out with the dudes than girls? Than his girl, I think. All right. Well, maybe it's the wrong girl. But also, maybe you've been with her for a while. She's boring as fuck. So, of course, you want to hang out with your she friends. She sounds nice, man. I thought she sounded like a nice girl. Well, he didn't give us any info. I need more info on him. Yeah, but I'm an But he's easy. a handsome dude. Maybe he wants to fucking power clean and suck. What else we got? That does it for relationship advice. Send those in to king, king of the sting at gmail.com. It's time for the last segment before I start my heart. And it's Flop My Aunt. This was sent in by Christopher. This is his Aunt Mariah. Well, I know what Theo got for his birthday. A boner. Dang. A I, little bit of a boner. I used actually masturbation last night, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. First time in a while? Yeah. The tubing still works and everything? Yeah. Were you exhausted? I uh, just, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done it. Why not? I don't know. Did you charge your PO relaxed. before you did? Uh, no, I just was kind of just... I don't know. I was like upset and then ended up just jerking off. So, mm. but Mariah seemed like a nice classic. person. I feel like this, I was, this is actually Aunt Chloe sent in from Jason. Okay. Aunt Chloe. Dude, Chloe is a, I'm sorry, is that Jasmine from Aladdin? Yeah. Good God, man. Chloe seemed like a nice person. I would love to say hi. And she looks nice in yellow. Little red bag that she has matches her shoes. She looks kind of fancy though. That would be my only concern. Yeah, she looks like she might be. Uh, um, she, you know, you're not gonna take her to the cheesecake factory. She might expect a little more than that. Here's the thing: 
homeboy who was saying he'd rather lift with his bros and hang out with his girl. Yeah. Does your girl look like this? Because then you're gay, bro. Well, I don't know, bro. Sometimes a fancy girl, you be around them so much, and they just keep talking about something, and you don't know what they're saying, and you feel like you need to go home. I feel you. <laughs> it's like you don't even speak the same language sometimes. Yeah. yeah. It's like, or uh, she's a lot lizard, and you're just like, dude, you're too much. Dude, then the lot has Ferraris in it, bro, because this bitch ain't getting into a damn Honda Civic. I know no, that, Oh, bro. she's the gecko of the lizard. Oh, she's that bro. colorful gecko. Oh, she, you know those cute geckos? You're like, God damn. That's she'll a save cute you 15% lizard. on your car insurance. <laughs> Fasio. Fasio. Uh, beautiful aunt, man. Thanks for sending her in. God and, uh, damn. She's a smoky lizard. Yeah, if you want any um, you know, if she, you guys need nieces or nephews in the family, let me know. Yeah, if Gang. you need some genetics, let me know. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Bad you, genetics, if, if, dude. Well, well. <laughs> okay. If, if you want your kids to have the body of Kermit the Frog, I'll send Theo over. Okay, hey, what do we got? Next up, this is Aunt Heather from Michael Salazar. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. Heather, if you're listening or if her family's listening, mm -hmm. get her a nap. Really? So I'm going to say, get her a nap right now. She looks tired. She looks fucking exhausted. She does look tired. But she I'll say exhausted. this beautiful smile. She's obviously from Slovenia. Yeah. <laughs> or I would also say uh, mm -hmm. Poland. Or um, she, she looks like maybe she was sent a sexy pic after folding so the entire family's laundry. Yes, she does. And she's having a fucking affair on the side and sent this pic. She's heartwarming. She seemed like a woman that's heartwarming. This is the kind of woman that... Uh, that cares about you, man. She's got the, you know. She'll wash the shit stains out of your undies and make you stroking off. <laughs> yeah. That's what she looks like. Oh, she's got the soft bash tits, No complaints tits either. Too. Are you talking about the softies? Yeah, she's got those soft hitters, Some sugar man. baby hitters. But I like that. This is the kind of woman that loves you, man. Loves you first. Beautiful Aunt Misha. What's her name? It is Aunt Heather. Heather. Oh, just Heather. Nothing for So they might be from Michigan. You know, they might be from Green Bay. Hudson Falls, New York. Ooh, close. Yeah. Still a bay, right. Hudson Bay. Close. Yeah. Shout out to her. And she, seriously, if you're listening, warm glass of milk and a nap now. Yeah, maybe take or a get eight hours or just sleep for days. Or take a, re yeah, relax a little. I'll see you at a meeting, I bet. She seems like a woman that I know from the, around the room. So uh, again, I'm sticking with she makes a mean beef stroganoff. Oh, what else yeah. you got? Yeah. Last one for Flaunt My Aunt. This What's is Aunt here? Mariah from Christopher. What is going, and where's she at? Connecticut, probably. Somewhere fancy. They did not say. Heaven? Where? They didn't say. Paradise? Jesus. Persia? You ain't the only one with a boner now. Aunt Mariah? Up, Don't fucking touch me when Don't we got touch boners. touch me. Pisces boners. On my birthday Pisces creep. Pisces boner bros. Um, God damn, that's somebody's aunt, dude. Dude, I would have been a nephew forever if my aunt looked like that. I don't even think I had a fucking aunt. I was just jerking off to nobody. Yeah, you know? my aunts don't look like that. Dude, if I had an aunt like that, I'd breastfeed off the whole family. You well, know what I'm saying? I'd definitely breastfeed off that aunt and only that aunt. Beautiful aunt. She seems like, um, is she schooled? Is she education? Uh, I, was, I would say so. With that pose and just, you know, the nice bronze skin, she screams to me degrees. Blue nail polish, that screams to me GEDs. Mm, because of the blue? Yeah. She looks but, like a fancy law lizard, man. Yeah, she looks fucking risky, too, man. She's got it sitting on a nice bathtub. That is an expensive bathtub. So that's either at a hotel room or if that's at her house, well, I'm priced out of the scenario already. So that's, that's a, 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 above my price point, this young lady. I'd fly that ant first class. Wow. Yeah, I'm there right now. There you go, man. There you go. Shout out to that fine-ass ant. Yeah, you got a nice ant there. She definitely, you know, I don't know. She seems pretty hot. That does it for this week's Flaw My Aunt. Going forward with your submissions for your for your aunts or relatives, send in a couple facts about them. Let's let's get some info on them that we can know about. I like, need to know what she does for work, her address, social pre security number. Yeah. Pretend your uh, cell phone number. Creating a dating profile for them. Give them yeah, give, a give little some bit. Facts. Yeah, like give us a little info on this girl. But that does it for Flaw My Aunt. It's it's time to wrap it up with uh, what inspired you guys this week. Let's do Start My Heart. That tired ass ant inspired me. To hey, take a nap. I know. I feel nappy. I think it was those donuts at Cat. No, it's, don't blame the donuts that I am, bro. Um, let's see here. Start my heart this week would go to Deontay Wilder. 
because in the world of professional boxing, which is a nightmare of a world for professional sports, mm -hmm. everyone's just bouncing into the highest bidder and just playing whatever. Oh, I'll, I'll get $100 million here, but I'm, I'm going to fight scrubs because it's best for this promoter. And when Showtime put all this money behind a young Deontay Wilder and built his name and got him where he's at, and he had those same offers, he decided to stick with Showtime and ride it out because he's a loyal-ass dude, which doesn't happen in sports very often. Mm. So mine's Deontay Wilder. Shout out to Deontay Wilder. I respect that, man. I'm going to go with <clears throat> that Vernal. <clears throat> I'm going to go with <clears throat> Mother Nature. Mother Nature really started my heart this week. They got that Vernal Equinox, and Broad. that's tomorrow. So it's a real special time when, you know, basically Mother Nature does whatever her, you know, she basically turns into David Blaine. It's in the Northern Hemisphere, in the Southern Hemisphere. And it is awesome. So if you want to be a part of something special, I'm saying Mother Nature. People always, you know, slipping on this bitch, saying, oh, she don't do this. You she sound don't like do the that. worst fucking earth science teacher in the world describing what's happening right now. Okay, Deontay Wilder, dude. You ever heard of him? You just went, uh, tug my heart is earth. What? <laughs> Earth because Mother of, Nature because spring is coming and flowers are booming. Well, you try to do spring, you can't even fucking get your act together, dude. Spring is when you take something that's all beaten down by winter and make it fucking pop again. And the only lady out there doing that bad bitch work is fucking Mother Nature, Preach. Vernal Equinox. She got the solstices and another equinox later in the year. This bitch is busy, okay, getting the bees to buzz and the flowers to fuck, dude. And nobody else does it like this bad bitch right there. Fucking Mother Nature. Shout out to Mother Nature. Thank you. It's your birthday, man. It is, man. Gotta, it's my birthday, dude. I'm going to CarMax. I'm fucking trading my car. In. You remember your car? Yeah. You're sick of it, huh? Yeah, it just dude, hurts. You just my, start walking everywhere. Hurts my back. I, I man, I love walking. I, mean, I love walking too. It's just too hard here to even cross the street. People get pissed at oh, you. Oh my god, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Dude, get a scooter. Be the grown man on a scooter. I thought about it. Yeah, I know. I don't want to take your Stilo, though. Nah, I don't really fucks with them anymore. Really? Not really. <laughs> Have you seen your Instagram, bro? I haven't been on one. You won't see one on there anymore. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, bro. We'll see Pay that. attention, bro. Keep up, bro. I'm keeping up, man. Yeah, all right. Well, happy birthday it, to me. Happy birthday to the king master himself. Yep. The rat king. When's your birthday? <laughs> It was yesterday, bro. Remember Pisces Bros Pies? Oh, yeah, dude. Fuck, dude. Too bad it was yesterday, man. I Nobody know. Yours remembers is almost that. over, though. We just celebrated. So yours is kind of over now, too, though, you know? It's just getting started. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, bro. I'll be in Milwaukee this weekend, Friday, Saturday. Milwaukee, yep. Turner Hall, baby. Get it. Wow. I'll be at San Jose, and then I'll be in Phoenix next weekend. Next week, I'm in uh, Washington, D.C., D.C. Improv. All those shows are most sold out. Get them. TFATK.com. Uh, dude, for reals, happy birthday, man. Gang, gang, thank you, man. Happy belated birthday to you, bro. Buzz, buzz. It's the king in the game.